Welcome back to uh, another episode of Surviving with Nash. Uh, the new Nash, by the way. Yep, this is the second incarnation of Nash Johnson. Our first one died, as you all know, sadly. Uh, I read our cooking book and then cooked both of our steaks. We're doing pretty well. We're actually starting to get some points in fitness. Oh, we're hungry. Also, while, uh, while we have been doing this, sadly, a zombie made its way into our yard. I guess it walked out, which is fine, because Nash is tired. I'm going to sleep again. So, we have a couple things we need to do. Firstly, uh, we need to turn off our oven, because that's not good. Fill our water bottle. Let's drink. So we have one, two, three. We have three windows, so we need three sheets. Also, we need to go find some more supplies. I think we're going to hole up right here. Thirdly, let's look at our crafting menu. Our carpentry is level one, which is great. Sadly, we don't have a saw. And there's a zombie. So, we need to eventually get our carpentry up high enough that we can build a wall there. But that means, is we need to go explore to get supplies. That's the first thing we need. Now there is a house down this road. forage here? That's awesome. We might be able to survive off the berries that we can find, hopefully, if we can find any that are not white berries. Ooh, mushrooms. Let's hope there's no alarm. So we're going to take the curtains, because we need curtains for our windows. Now 
nothing in the dining room. We already have cooking for beginners, so I don't know if I want to take that, which is fine. But can we use cooking for beginners for like? Hmm, I don't know. Anyways, quick primary. So now the problem is we have to go upstairs. I never like going upstairs in houses. Do you know why? Because they're always dangerous. fucking dangerous. That bitch done scared the fuck out of me and I hurt your ears. I'm sorry. That's my life. That's my life. Oh my god. Eat this peach. See? See? I hate upstairs in houses. Come on! Hey, I got his key. God. Fishing for beginners. Fuck yeah. Take a book.
Another key? Oh my god! See? See, this is my life. This is what happens. Nash is also tired, which sucks. We could choose to sleep in this in this house. Which is not happening. Actually, I want to check out this back here. That's just an oven. do one more stint of foraging and then we're gonna make it back to our house because Nash needs to eat and he needs to sleep we've had an exciting uh, exciting day in this episode um, an exciting day indeed really want to finish that. Alright. Let's go to our fridge. Let's eat the lettuce. Yum, 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 yum. Do we have any food in here that needs to go in the fridge? No. No. But we could put the books here. Fishing for beginners. We need to learn that. Um, let's put the yeast in there. The cabbage. Box of paper clips. Um, we'll put the mushrooms in the fridge. Ooh, we've got eight mushrooms. That's awesome. branches, the twigs, stone. And peas. Drink. Fill water bottle. Add sheet. Close curtain. Add sheet, close curtain, add sheet, close curtain. All right, 12 hours, let's we'll sleep for 12 hours. Cause that's what you do in the apocalypse. You sleep half the fucking day. Man, Nash is still tired. We slept a whole fucking day. Well, we did have a rough one. Not gonna lie. Eat half our steak. So, we uh, we did some pretty cool stuff so far. 
me just check my skills out. We got a skill point, which we can't use yet. Um, we need to work on our cardio. Which, you know, some, what I think I might do is just run around my house until I get tired. Once we make this a safe zone. Uh, sprinting and nimble have gone up a little bit. Cooking is still 15 points. Well, we can up our fishing, which is good. And I'm going to have to build some of these um, survivalist tools. Stone hammer. We can make a stone hammer and a raw axe. See, the axe is actually really good because what we could do is we can make a raw, a stone axe and then we can go back to that house we were at and break a bunch of doors with it. Um, cause, cause yeah, we need door, we need planks. Because what can we do with the planks? Can we build a wall? We can't. What level do we need to, to well we can we can reinforce our uh, either way. Let's actually see what we have, because I put my sticks and stuff away, right? Put them in here, right? Yeah, we have three tree branches from swamp stone. Um, sheets. I can't make the axe. Oh, I need a chipped stone. I thought I had a chip stone. No? Well, we can go find one, but... Huh. Checking my um, all right. Well, we're going to go over here. wrong stats. Alright, there, we got our chip stone. Let's forage one more time. Then we'll go back to the house, we'll build some things. sleep because apparently that's what we need to do is sleep
sleep for nine hours. Let's go to our crafting menu. Sweet, look, we can make a spear, which is awesome, because we can make a weapon. We can make a tree branch, and we can make a stone axe. So, we can make a tree branch. We can, we can make a hammer. My god. So, let's craft a hammer. Stone axe. So, what can we can we do anything different? So, okay, so we just need to get our carpentry up to level two in order to build a wooden wall. Hmm. Oh, wow. The log wall can, is the log wall stronger? wondering if I could like if I have four logs because I have ripped sheets if I could build the wall I might be able to, that's probably what we're gonna do guys the problem is we still need to be able to build a door frame which we can't yet about a door I can build floor tables sign bed double shelves shelves bookcase fences interesting Interesting indeed. He's tired. Nash! What the hell's wrong with you? Alright, well... We now have things to think about. The problem is the materials needed. Because if you look at this on the outside, that's one, two, three, four, five. So I'd need four, eight, I need 16 logs and then a door frame. You know what I mean? And then a door which I'm not too sure. Let's go try something. Let's go back to that house and figure out how much it'll take to break down a door with one of these. Because at this point, I can make more of those axes because I can forge right over there. So we kind of are in a good spot right now to like slow it down. Okay, 
So, here's the axe, raw axe. Equip in both hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. hammer do it? The hammer is so much stronger than the axe. Come on. Wow. All right, so we found something out, guys. We found something out. Not able Not able to break a door down with a makeshift hammer and a makeshift axe. They all break. But don't worry, I'm not too too upset that they're broken. It was a good test. I probably could make the other axe and break that door down. But I exerted myself too much. So we're going to make it back to the house and call it an episode. Because we are in no condition at all to deal with zombies. Also, I don't think the white mushrooms are good for us. Ten hours. We're probably going to have to sleep again, by the way. Yeah, we're just going to sleep again. All right. Well, we're going to end this episode here. This is this is this was a good interesting week. We we started again and Nash has a nice base of operations. Uh, this Nash is a, a little different reincarnation of Nash. If you all want to see real quick again, um, I did not take claustrophobic. I took keen hearing, hiker, former scout, eagle eye, graceful outdoorsman and to pretty much make up for all those points I picked unlucky sleepyhead 
hearty appetite, restless sleeper, high thirst, and obese. So, yes. Yes, we're having some fun. We're getting back into it. We'll see you next week for some more Surviving with Nash. This is some Project Zomboid stuff, and this is Trin. Bye.